If you've seen everything plastered all over Twitter today, well, you'll have seen Hellblade 2's hands-on impressions have come out. And it does seem that on Xbox Series X and S, the game will run at 30 FPS with a dynamic resolution. So it's unknown if it's gonna hit 4K, probably not. It might hit 1440p, but it's not going to be hitting 60 FPS anytime soon. This is another major Xbox first party title that is just not hitting the stride or taking advantage of all of the so-called features the Series X has in order to hit that 60 FPS. Now, of course, this is running on Unreal Engine 5, so there are complications with that. It is a very unoptimized and demanding engine, and we've seen Avium, Immortals of Avium, and how that struggled. And we've seen other Unreal Engine 5 games struggle as well, like Robocop. And, you know, obviously, FSR 3 has helped them somewhat, but it's clear that they're not opting for that. And, you know, we're going to talk about that. So I'm Chaos Prime. If you do find this video useful, do hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date with all content I release. So we have a quote here and it says Hellblade 2 only runs at 30 FPS and dynamic resolution on both Xbox Series S and Series X. So it's not a case of the Series S holding the game back or holding the frame rate back. They could easily have opted for a 30 FPS on the Series S and a 60 for the X, but that's not what's happening here. The reality is they've opted for a 30 FPS and whether it's because of the Unreal Engine 5 or a creative decision is unknown. But let's continue. There are no graphic modes. Now, I think there should actually be a performance mode for this. I think every game should give you the option for a performance mode. It's a single player game. There's no reason. I mean, if it's multiplayer, I kind of understand because they don't want to desync it in any way because of the faster gameplay. But this is a single player game. And like we saw with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, You've got the, you know, the high fidelity 30 FPS and what was not great looking for 60 FPS with the performance mode. They have touched it up since, but you get the point. But I, I appreciate the fact that they've given people a choice. Here you don't get that. And we didn't get that with Redfall either. We didn't get that, you know, with Starfield either. And later on, we've seen them add it to Redfall. So who knows, maybe later they'll add it here. But honestly, with how demanding Unreal Engine 5 is, I just don't know if that's even possible on current gen hardware. They say the frame rate can only be increased on PC. So PC can hit 60 or basically you can brute force whatever you want on PC. Now this next part is what gets me a little bit. They say the VFX director explains this in an interview with GamePro by saying that the experience should feel more cinematic, similar to movies that run at 24 frames per second. Now this can be seen as a really big cop out or can be seen as a creative you know, decision. One that would work with a game like this, one that would work with a game like God of War. But the reality is it's the direction that they've gone with. They've wanted that filmic kind of experience. Now my problem with this is that they haven't locked PC. If that was the creative direction, why not lock PC as well? So clearly to me, this whole filmic probably was a thing. They did want to create that kind of cinematic experience because guess what? They've been seeing huge success with PlayStation in terms of their cinematic gaming experiences. So it's no surprise to see Microsoft finally jumping into that role and trying to portray or put, you know, produce games to that kind of audience to try and attract more people to the Xbox platform. Now, do I have an overall problem with this? It depends. I want to try it. I'm going to obviously play it anyway, regardless. I'm a huge Hellblade 2 fan. Whether I'm going to play it on PC at 60 or on the Series X at 30 is unknown. But the fact that it's on Game Pass means that if you've got a Game Pass subscription, you get this game day one, unless they do early access, and then you're going to have to pay for that early access in order to pick it up. You know, that whole double dipping, which I still think is pretty nasty that companies do this, especially on Game Pass as well, because they can't, you know, everyone wants to be on it as soon as it comes out. Now, everything I've been reading about this in terms of, you know, presentation, graphics, uh, fluidity has been spot on. We even have 
quotes here from IGN, Hellblade 2 is undeniably one of the most graphically impressive games I've ever played. You've got GameSpot saying, I can't remember the last time a game left me so excited to play the full experience. This could be the big hitter that Xbox has wanted, but the narrative isn't going to be how good the game looks, how good the story is, how good the cinematics are. It's, you know, it's going to get marred with that 30 FPS, and that's unfortunately sad to see. Uh, Games Radar is clearly on track to be one of the most important exclusives this generation. And I agree, this is a huge, huge game. Now, people are looking at Hellblade 2 and seeing it as not one of those games that, you know, are going to shift a million consoles or 10 million consoles. It doesn't matter. What matters here is how big and important this game is to the Xbox brand. And I, for one, am still super excited to play this. Polygon say, I wasn't expecting to experience a next gen moment when I played Hellblade 2, but I got one. There's nothing else quite like it. Now, the last time people spoke this highly of a video game was Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake pushed boundaries in terms of graphical fidelity and performance. Hellblade 2 is now, from what I've been reading, from all different publications, from what I've been seeing, they are on course to deliver something that is very, very special. GamePro, in their lengthy, GamePro in their lengthy article, turned around and essentially summarized saying though the 30 fps is a downer and they do wish that there was a performance mode they didn't notice it while playing the way the game is structured the cinematic feel made the whole game feel smooth and enjoyable and the fact that this isn't a fast action paced game meant that they didn't really notice it and a lot of the things I'm seeing online, whether it's from IGN, Polygon, none of them are really complaining about the 30 FPS. All of them are praising how good the game looks, how fluid the game is, and how nice it runs on the Xbox Series X. I haven't seen anyone talking about the Series S per se, so I guess when they were demoing it, it was being demoed on the Xbox Series X. But it's good to see positivity coming out from Camp Xbox. I was expecting great news for Hellblade 2 and good promotions. I suspect we're gonna get a much bigger in-depth uh, reveal towards the end of April, but all in all, Hellblade 2 is looking like it's going to be a massive success. Now, am I disappointed that the game isn't running 60? Yes, I am. I mean, I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am, because after Redfall, after Starfield, both coming out at 30 FPS, I know Redfall later released a 60 FPS patch, but on release is what you look at. And both of them came out at 30, and now we're getting another 30. So it does seem like, you know, at least when it comes to the Xbox console and their first party titles, the point of 60 FPS just doesn't look like it's coming from Camp Xbox anymore. Not until next gen. Now, when this game becomes boosted, you know, the whole boost version of the, you know, when you plug it into the next generation Xbox, I suspect that will provide it with, you know, a better frame rate, just like we did with Hellblade 1. With Hellblade 1, it ran at 30 FPS on Xbox One and on PS4. Then the pros came out and the Xbox One X and it ran at 60. And then when you played it on the Series X console, it was boosted to have 120 FPS with ray tracing. So I suspect when this comes out on the next generation consoles, uh, you know, when you're playing it with the updated patch, we're gonna get even better performance upgrades. So the question now is going to be asked, should you wait and play it then? Absolutely not. This game is gonna be a game that should hopefully kickstart Xbox's you know 2024 i have high hopes for this game like i said um whether i'm going to play this on the xbox series x or pc will determine will be determined by one thing the creative direction that they want now they want this cinematic experience if 30 fps does give me that cinematic experience and it does give me that kind of you know feel that they're going with then i could be tempted to do that if not then i'll just be playing it on pc and i suspect this game will probably be on the cloud as well so for those of you that are on geforce now if it does land on there and you've got the premium package you can play this on a 4080 graphics card running 60 fps at at least 2k resolution flat out possibly up to 4k 
but honestly i'm really excited for this game the, what the more i'm seeing of this game the more excited i'm getting and everything i'm hearing about it is great from the combat to the actual uh sound effects to the actual scenery just everything about it is making me smile and i'm excited and we're going to be talking about this tonight on my stream so i do hope to see you all there but for me i really hope that the 30 fps isn't going to be the headline talk regarding hellblade 2 and i hope it's going to be about the game the actual graphics the actual story the actual performance even at 30 it can still deliver a very strong performance if it's locked to 30 smooth and providing that filmic experience that they are looking for because if that's what they are going to target because it's been very successful for playstation so it's no surprise that they're kind of trying to edge in that direction as well and capitalize through that as well so if it actually achieves that happy days if it doesn't it's going to fall flat on its face. But frame rate isn't everything, as we've come to see. Starfield did very, very well, even at 30 FPS on Xbox. So, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to affect the reviews. I don't think it's going to affect, in general, people's performance. I mean, we saw the Dragon's Dogma 2 dropping into the 20s and people were still raving about it so if this is running locked 30 and is the best looking game on the market right now then what can i say what can i say hopefully in the future once uh technology advances we'll see better but it does seem like in terms of first party releases looking this good pushing the graphical fidelity and not wanting to offer a performance mode 30 fps might be the norm going forward and that may be for both platforms as uh technology continues to advance and games continue to look better and better as they come along anyway that's it for this video let me know what you think in the comment section below let's have that discussion i'll be here tonight to talk about all things hellblade see you there remain vigilant